Hey everyone, just want to do a video log of uh, my solar cooker project. This was a last minute throwing together hodgepodge thing just to see if it would work in the last couple hours of the day. I went to Walmart and I picked up a jumbo sunshade that goes in the window of your you know, SUVs, a uh, big reflective uh, foldable solar shade. I also picked up a cookie jar really large cookie jar and also inside is a uh, it's, it's used for holding spoons and utensils and stuff it's uh, made by stoneware and it's black ceramic inside and out uh, coated and it's a ceramic pot and I've just got a little dish on there for a lid and it seals pretty well it's too hot to touch anything on the inside in there um, as you can see, it's it's getting really late in the day, and there's clouds. There's a little bit of clouds in the sky, and the sun's really low, and it's just talking behind the trees right now. And so, this project's pretty much done for the day. It's it's about I'm about to lose sunlight here. Um, literally in just a minute, the whole thing will be in the shade. Uh, but uh, it was kind of fun. You know, it's interesting. What I have in the pot, I do have something in there. Um, I have one cup of rice and three cups of water. It's a jasmine rice. And uh, the internal temperature is 116 degrees right now. The external temperature reached 157 degrees. So it, it did get hot, and it's too hot to even touch. I don't know about cooking, uh, especially this time of year. It is August, uh, middle of August, or October, excuse me, October middle of October and it's cold it's you know it's 56 degrees outside right now so it's it's not a warm it's a little bit of a breeze but it's it is heating you know if you put your hand in there it is definitely hot in that reflector um, the thing was flipping flopping all over the place and really hard to get a nice parabolic shape to it so I used some rocks and a bunch of coat hangers and stuff and clipped them to it to try and get that nice round shape to focus the light it seems to work, and uh, the only thing is, though, all these sunshades were on sale uh, at Walmart. They were $7.99, marked down to $5.99, but they were all pink with polka dots and puppy dogs on them. If I could have gotten any other <laughs> print other than pink and polka dots with puppy dogs, I would have. Um, the prop decides up I'm using these... Um, these pole holders for the dock that uh, they're just uh, old mortar tubes for fireworks but uh, they, they prop the sides up and hold it stable and then uh, and uh, so you can see it it's it's working so anyway just thought I'd share this with you guys you know it's, it's kind of a fun little thing to do at the last minute I think this total cost about uh, $35, $38, I don't know. I'll include a picture of the receipt at the end of this video. So, uh, you know, just having some fun with the sun, even though it's late in the day and it's a foggy, gray kind of day, and we had fog all morning and it's not very warm, I didn't think this was going to work at all. So I'm kind of happy with it. I think during the summer we'll be able to do some decent cooking in here and make up some stews and rice and stuff like that. So. This is Pete Dog signing off. One more quick thing to note is that uh, I started this project at 3.30 and I had uh, the dock was full. It was in the sun. There was no shade. And uh, it's now 4.30 and now the, the solar cooker is in the shade and cooling down. So that's one hour of heating. Most of these solar cookers take, uh, you know, two or three hours to cook a meal something like that so you definitely would have to I would have had to start this earlier in the day but you know, I had to go and buy all the supplies and put it all together and clean everything up and fiddle with it to try and get it focused and so only got about one hour of cooking but uh, uh, you know 116 degrees internal temperature 156 external not too bad for one hour of cooking in the direct sun on a shady cloudy day uh, you know, hey.